I guess my own expectations of thinking of what Rio and Brazil were, were going to be like was colourful, loud, quite vibrant and I think it's been quite very much like that. It was a bit hard to sort of really know because I don't know too much about, about Rio but um, so far it's been a fantastic experience. I think they threw absolutely everything at me in my first match. I mean, it was the first session off on the first day of competition. It was against a Brazilian player and she was over 200 world ranks ahead of me. So um, I don't think I could have got more, more of a tougher match, which, you know, which is great for me. Um, it was a great challenge. I went out, I, I fought for every ball. It was 4-2 that I went down. Obviously, you know, you always want to win, but if I don't win, I want to make sure I've learnt something from the match and I've learnt plenty. So I think um, after we get to head home, I can work on a few more things. So when I come back for the Paralympics, I'm going to be even more prepared. It's hard to put into words uh, the feeling of walking out there, but it was such a special, special moment. I mean, when I received my, my uniform to have the green and gold tapper on the back with Australia was was a really um, I felt a lot of a lot of pride and I was um, really excited to get out there and walking out in front of a, a full stadium with my dad and father father-in-law in the stands was was fantastic and knowing that um, from that moment I stepped out there I'd achieved something I've worked so hard for and it took a good 16 years to to get to that moment so um, yeah I was just going to enjoy every moment as, as it happened. On the 14th I'll be flying back to Australia, have two and a half weeks at home before I'll end up coming back to Rio to prepare for the Paralympics.